Hey guys, welcome to another video. So when I was making this video, I really wanted, I had like thought the thumbnail and the title would be like, the most revolutionary video you'll see this whole year or something like that. Because if you've been up to date with the news and stuff like that, you've probably heard about vibe coding and you've probably heard about AI agents. And what that is, is basically the next level of the kind of AI experience that we're going to be interfacing with. What that means is that, well, first of all, vibe coding is like if you don't have coding experience, but you talk to the computer, like in a chat GPT kind of way, you can give it commands. And through those commands, it'll compile code. And by compiling code, it can create certain things like maybe small apps or something like that. Um, that's basic vibe coding, I think, if, if, I, if I understand it right. But, you know, I, I, I keep up to date with this stuff, but it's always hard to fully understand everything. And then... Um, this has been the theme. So I was watching this podcast, Diary of a CEO, and they had on the guy who created this um, software development place. I don't, I don't even know how to call it. Well, it's like an AI agent suite, I guess, um, called Replit. And the thing about Replit is that basically what it seems to be is one of the first times where you can input commands and get back fairly complex results with regards to, again, that vibe coding thing, but um, with the idea of creating maybe apps or specialized tools that can help you with whatever you want to do. So literally almost anything you can think of, you can kind of make an app or a tool out of with Replit. And I was thinking, okay, right away, let's see what it can do. Let's see if we can make like a synthesizer, right? Basically with Replit, it works like this. You get, if you pay for it, you pay for a month and it's like 25 bucks a month uh, and you get a certain amount of credits. As you continue to prompt the AI, it'll go through iterations, but you'll use up your credits. So I gave myself kind of like a hard line at 50, 50 euros worth of credits, meaning that the equivalent of two months worth of a membership. And um, my expectations were kind of high because as I saw, I played around with it at first with very simple things and I saw I was able to do them. So I was like, okay, let's see what, where we can take this. So long story short, so you don't have to maybe see the whole video. It's definitely not up to the capabilities of anything like Bitwig or any kind of software development platform that's specifically made to make software synths or something like that, or musical instruments. It's completely not made to make musical instruments. What it's made for is making simple apps, at least up till now. But of course, you know, I was like, let's make, you know, a polyphonic synth that is, has a Curtis Sem filter and has, you know, these and these effects on it and all these different things. And I was like, okay, trying to make like my, my dream synth or whatever. And um, yeah, I went through like about a month's worth of iterations before I figured out that was never going to work. Then I was like, all right, let's make it a lot more simple. So I was like, let's kind of take the basis of like a SH01 and kind of just use that architecture to see if we can recreate it basically in software by me commanding the computer to make basically a virtual instrument. Again, even though the parameters were reduced, the iterations were a lot. I kept going through it, going through it, going through it. And it never would produce results. In fact, one of the things I think about this program, if I were to criticize it, is that um, it doesn't do what you want it to do often and then you burn through credits. And I'll make another video about Replit on the side. But anyway, so we're at the beginning of this technology. It's definitely not something that's going um, to replace any kind of dedicated software that's, you know, like a Max for Live or making stuff like that or anything like that. None of it is going to be replaced. However, I thought it was cool, so I wanted to investigate it. And I kept iterating, iterating, iterating. And um, I ran into some problems because, as you can imagine, some of the coding is not um, is so specific that you have to do it in a different program. And I specifically made myself the limitation of not wanting to use any kind of me transporting code into something else. I wanted to literally talk to the AI and see if it could make for me what I wanted. So long story short, I thought I was going to make this video that was going to be like the most important video you'll see this year because, you know, imagine if you can think up of an instrument and then speak it into existence, that would be fantastic, right? Think about like effects or anything that you could come up with, it'd be super cool. But as of May, 2025, the technology is not up to that level. However, I do believe it will be. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to put out this video is because kind of like a bookmarker, I think as of now, this is something that's not quite available to us, but like stay tuned because this stuff moves fast. And I think maybe in like six months, I'll do another video about this and see if I can make a virtual synth by like vibe coding it into existence. That's kind of the idea. Now, a couple things. If you guys see that like I was close, but I was missing it by a little bit, if I just did a little bit of tweaking here and there, or if you guys know some ways of bringing this to life, 
please write that in the comments. Um, I'm coming at this from a completely unexperienced uh, synth designer. It's not like I know how to design synthesizers, but I've used them for long enough that I could kind of come up with a pathway. But again, maybe I was too ambitious. Maybe like if you guys mess around with Replit and see if you can make maybe a delay or something like that or some kind of simple effect, maybe that could be something that we could start to share and make a sort of library of like a first generation AI instruments or something like that. I don't know. Point is, is that um, AI is here and musicians are always kind of freaking about how it'll take over and it will. But there are other sides of it too that could be almost like, you know, a fighting against the dark side and like, you know, the rebel forces are like trying to fight back by making their own synthesizers or something like that. I don't know, I'm being really funny right now, but you get the point. Anyway, goal here is to see where this takes us and to share with you some innovations that are happening in the world of technology and music and stuff like that and to hear what you guys think about it too because I think we're right around the corner from something like this being available to us but we're still uh, at the beginning. Yeah anyway so that's the video. Um, I hope this was informative in some way. If it was maybe like and subscribe but anyway looking forward to seeing you guys soon and